Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong. So we're here at 2014 Interbike having an absolute blast. So you all know I did an amazing Pinarello buildup this year. You love the bike, it's absolutely beautiful. When we looked at the carbon on it, the, the layups, everything, first class. So we thought here at Interbike, we've got to stop and see the new Pinarello. We found the expert on this bike, Sandy. He's going to walk through it for us. He's going to give you guys the lowdown. So I want you to check it out. Make sure you stay tuned throughout the whole entire video. We'll be bringing you lots of videos this year. And here we go. So here we go. Sandy, take us away. Start walking us through this bike. Okay. Thank you, Bart. You bet. This bike is totally changed from the one you rode this year. Yeah. Lots of new things on it. It's a new uh, carbon fiber from Toreca, uh, Toreca 1100K carbon. It's exclusive to Pinarello uh, for this year. They redesigned a frame with the, in conjunction with Team Sky, uh, the input from Team Sky, and also in conjunction with their other partner, Jaguar. Um, so they had a lot of initiatives in this one was team sky said we like the way the bike rides we don't want to change it yeah. you know like every rider they said we want it lighter and we want it faster aerodynamic so that's how they approached it uh, with the did a lot of wind tunnel testing at jaguar and they came up with this new profile of the uh, the down tube here it's also used on the, on the seat tube the ideal profile for aerodynamics is an eight to one, meaning it's it's uh, eight times wider than than its than its width. Um, the UCI rules limits this to three to one. So to get around this, they gave it very close to an eight to one leading edge, and then they just chopped off the back. So it still has the aerodynamics uh, there. Um, they also lowered it lowered it down here. One of the things they found in the wind tunnel was integrated brakes or the brake back here were really just minimal uh, improvements or the brake down here. Well, it's really tough to work on. Brakes down here, really tough. The mechanics tough. hate that. Well, yeah, I mean, and if you're riding a bike in a peloton like that and something happens, I mean, you know, how are you gonna fix right. it, right? Yeah, so they realized that standard brakes you know, changing that was not an advantage, and like you said, to, to work on it, the advantages were to keep that. You know, they worked on the fork. You can't really see it from here, but if you look straight on, it's kind of kind of bow-legged. Yeah. And what they found was that by having a narrow fork, created more turbulence of the wheel passing through the fork. So this opened it up to give give more speed there. They got some aerodynamic shaping here in the head tube, and what's really unique, the shape of this fork like a sail on a sailboat, it creates um, a negative effect. You see a sail that fills up with wind. Well, what's propelling the boat is the negative pressure on the opposite side of the sail. Right, right. And that's the same thing that's happening here. And it, granted, it's very slight, but at, a, at certain yaws, this fork actually generates thrust. Wow. Instead of creating drag, it's actually helping you move forward. Awesome. Um, so that's another part of it. They also found that lowering the, the seat tube water bottle was created a lot of aerodynamic advantage. Um, so they've lowered that, but you see they left three holes here because they realized some of their customers may not have the flexibility right. to get to that lower bottle. So the, so the rider has his choice of putting a bottle in the normal position or in the more aerodynamic position. Um, also, they made the uh, tab for the front derailleur removable. Uh, if you're riding time trial and just need one chain ring, you can have uh, make the bike more aero that way. Some of the things that retained is the, the asymmetry of Pinarellas. Pinarellas tagline, think asymmetric. The, all the frames, if you look at it from the front, you can see that it's a little beefier here, the right, the right fork. This is the same on the, on the Dogma 65 that you rode this year. It's the same on the, on the F8. And the reason for that is when you're pedaling, if yep. you're normal, you're putting fairly much equal pressure on each pedal. Yep. But the bike is, is receiving that power just on the drive side. Yep. So this balances it. This has become even more uh, asymmetric. They've moved the, the bottom bracket over a little more. Yep. So in, in making it the frame asymmetric, it's actually giving it better balance for when you're riding. 
Um, the only place that it's kind of counterintuitive is on the uh, on the chain stays. It's narrower here on the drive side and gets beefier back here, where the where the cogs are, and it's the opposite over here. It doesn't need as much strength here, but it needs more strength here Absolutely. from where the power, where you apply the power to the bike. Uh, also new aerodynamic seat post with a uh, new attach attaching there. And that's, uh, in a nutshell, the advantages of the new Dogma F8. Awesome. So the things I loved about the bike as I went through and looked at the bike for this year and trying to look at some different ideas is they've spent a lot of time in the tunnel, aerodynamics, and I went out and rode the bike here a couple days at the demos and uh, looked at it really there. And the cool part about the bike is it is a lot lighter. The bike I'm riding right now compared to this year's bike, noticeable difference. You all know that uh, my son's riding a Cannondale this year. And in that Cannondale versus my bike, I mean, they're not, his is so much lighter, it's crazy. But this is getting back to that lightness and the aero aspect that I think most people have been looking for in this bike. I also love the fact that the carbon that they're using is absolutely first class. I mean, there is no spared expense in what they've done in the carbon that they found and that they're using in this technology. So I would give this bike an A+. Uh, if you're out there looking right now, check them out. Go out there. When you ride this bike, it absolutely feels, it, it's like a Jaguar. I mean, it is underneath you. It feels so amazing. All my friends always say, that is the most beautiful bike I've ever seen, and it is. But what's even better is it performs just as well as how good looking it is. So, you know, that's the thing about riding something that's fun like this and just a first class company to work with. So check them out. Give them some time. If you have any questions, please put them below. We're going to give the link to Pinarello. They can answer those questions for you. Uh, that's what they're here for. They want you on these bikes. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that. But most of all, get out there, ride your bike and have a ton of fun. We'll talk to you soon.